So welcome to Covered Court Co-op. Behind this wall is entombed a huge oil tank which has been abandoned. And this space used to be where the coal was brought in to be fed to the steam boilers. There's the old coal chute. The archway. And the remains of the old oil fired boilers. This is the remains of the oil transfer pumps that used to feed the old oil burners. Currently, these boilers which were installed sometime in the 19, early 1970s are being fired with gas. This boiler, boiler number two, is currently being shut down for the, the season and we have flooded the boiler on purpose to um, exclude most of the oxygen, oxygen to uh, preserve it for the coming decades, we hope. The boiler that's being set up to heat the uh, building for the uh, system is boiler number one. One of the problems with these new, newer boilers is that they are smaller than the original coal-fired boilers. The original coal-fired boilers had to contain the big piles of burning rocks in them to run for most of the day with a little bit of top off and shaking the clinkers. With the newer, smaller boilers, relatively speaking, that changes the water level dramatically. The old boilers probably are a lot closer to the ceiling than the new boilers. So there's the entrance to the boiler room. And as you can see, we are several feet below street level. And there is one of the returns. Now this is sort of a, this was originally a wet return. And when the newer boilers went in, the current boilers went in, this sort of turned into a wet dry return and what would happen is steam would get down into it and uh, hammer the piping apart we had to replace the piping in order to keep the steam out of it we had to flood it and we had to use an old trick called the false water line and that is what this confusing contraption of pipes is we measured it several buildings away. This is several buildings all connected and being fed by the steam system. This more or less duplicates the original water line from the old boiler and makes sure that all the horizontal piping, no matter where it is in the building, in, this, in the basement, has water in it to keep out the steam. Forming a giant loop seal here. In order to balance the pressure from the steam at the other end, we have steam brought at this end from the, uh, the boiler's header. It's rather confusing about what's all going in there, but uh, this is steam brought over and pushes down here to more or less balance the steam pressure at the other ends of the, um, of the building about a half a block away. Now it all goes into 
a boiler feed tank here. And the boiler feed tank is open to the atmosphere. So this, the least amount of pressure would um, blow all the water through here. So we had to put a loop seal here. So this fills up again to keep this area free of steam. So then it can drain into the water feed tank. There the water sits and waits for the boiler to call for water by means of those pumps and the pump controller here which happens to be a McDonnell Miller 150. So the pump controller, the water level drops, asks for water from the tank, tank obliges, feeds the water and uh, keeps the water level more or less under control. In order to make this thing work, we have to run at a pretty low pressure. So the maximum pressure we found by trial and error before we can run this thing before it will hammer is 12 ounces. So the operating vapor stat here is set at about 12 ounces anymore and um, we'll get hammering in the return line. There's your safety reset control which we operate at about 2 pounds and this system operates low high low at about four ounces so when four ounces pressure is generated this throttling control throttles the gas and the air so that you get good combustion at even um, low pressure so it cycles between four and ten ounces and when it kicks off at about twelve ounces which is usually when the temperature gets to be about twenty degrees or below the system will, um, will have a complete burn controlled by the uh, tech mark and so that is a false water line with a loop seal rather than a trap and it seems to work. <laughs>